What's a REIT? Should you invest in a REIT? As you all know, Double Dragon Meridian Park REIT is coming out in the next few months. Should you invest in it? What is it? Is it good? Is it bad? What should you do if you have extra money? Check this video out. Hi guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about real estate investment trust, but particularly for Double Dragons, DD Meridian Park, they're making that a REIT. As you all know, Ayala also will release their own version of their REIT. But this is the new and pressing item, and that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. So I made several videos already on what REITs are. I'm gonna put them on the description below. You can click on that link for you guys to be able to learn more about it, get more details about it. After this, if you want me to talk more about REITs, put it in the comment section that I want REIT and we're gonna make more about that. Or if you want a continuation of us drilling about Double Dragons, DD Meridian Park REIT, we're gonna talk more about that as well. But all of the details that you need to know are in the description below. Now, let's start. What I wanna talk about in this entire video is number one, what's a REIT? Number two, my experience in REITs. Number three, how do you earn from REITs? Number four, the value of the REIT for Double Dragon Meridian Park. Number five, contents of the REIT, what's included in that particular REIT or where the REIT will go. Next are the dates, the important dates that you need to remember. The name of the REIT for Double Dragon. And then, as what I've mentioned, other REITs in the Philippines. And number nine, REIT listing rules. First things first, what's a REIT? A REIT is a corporation that primarily invests income generating real estate such as office spaces, shopping malls, service apartments, even hotels, hospitals, and warehouses. So think about it guys as anything that can give you income based on rentals. So it gives investors an opportunity to invest directly in finished projects rather than the developer itself. So this is meant to attract dividend-seeking investors because the REIT law requires a distribution of at least 90% of income as dividends that's happening on an annual basis. Basically, if you break things down, it's essentially you're buying a stock. As you buy the stock, that stock, instead of buying the whole of Double Dragon, you are just buying a specific property. Similar for Ayala, when you buy the A REIT that's coming out also, you are not buying everything under Ayala but just that specific property. And the difference between that is, for example, you buy a condo, you get exposure and you become the owner of that particular condo. If you buy a REIT that's connected to a condo, you don't own physically the condo, you don't own the tangible part of that condo, you just own a piece of paper that says that you have this much shares in, that gives you a proportion of income based on what the rental income of that condo will get. Again, if it sounds a bit detailed, link is in the description for a more explained version of what a REIT is. So number two, my experience on REITs. I've been investing in REITs, uh, I think since 2013. Uh, I did it via Singapore. Uh, please remember, REITs is not something that's very, very new. A lot of countries around the world have REITs. Australia has REITs. US has REITs. Singapore also has REITs as well. And one thing that I like about REITs in almost seven plus years of doing it is its passive income. As what I've mentioned, it gives you dividends. And dividends is based on rental income. Again, there are also risks attached to it because uh, one of the REITs that I have uh, invested on is Ascot. Ascot is a hotel chain and as you all know, uh, Ascot hotel chain around the world, a lot of people are not traveling. Most likely they have income still from their long-term guests people who are expats, people who are staying in a particular country for a certain amount of time, they still have revenue from that. But as you all know, tourism in general has been uh, generally hit. So there's still risk attached to it because if the property that you invested on, its rental income would drop, then since you're investing for dividends, the dividends also is a proportion of the income or it's directly related to the income. If the income is not doing well, the dividend also won't do well but in my experience it's been a good source of passive income and what i like about it is uh, there are some REITs that i invested that are data centers and as you all know also data centers are the future why everything that you're seeing right now you watching this video uh people 
transacting online, playing games online, uh, doing conferences via Zoom. All of that require uh, the internet and all of that, everything that you see in the internet requires hardware and that hardware uh, is housed in a data center. Again, you always have to think about it like this. You could buy a condo, the condo, paparent mo, pag pinarent mo condo, you make money off of it. Dito, hindi mo na kailangan isipin, paano ko siya ma-market? How do I find ways also on how to uh, make money off of this? In this particular example, Double Dragon, uh, whoever the tenants are, it's Double Dragon's responsibility to make sure that there's occupancy. And as they have occupancy, you make money off of it. Number three, how do you earn from REITs? Similar to the stock market, very, very simple. Capital appreciation. You buy it because a lot of people also want to buy it. More buyers bring the price up. So if more people buy it and then you sell at a higher price, you earn capital appreciation. Can you also lose money from it? Of course, since it's a paper asset similar to a stock, when you sell at a lower price, there's a possibility also that you lose money. In the same way, if you sell, you hold. If, even if it's down, you don't make money. In the same way, even if you're up and you don't sell, you don't make money yet. That's the first way, capital appreciation. Second is via dividends. And for me, that's the underlying feature of REITs that you get to have semi-rental income, but it's in form of the dividend. So number four, the value of the REIT is around 16.97 billion pesos. So it's a very, very large REIT. Number five, contents of the REIT. What they are issuing out as a REIT is DD Meridian Park. It's a seven buildings. If you've been to MOA, you're going to see it. If you're passing through EDSA going to MOA, it's in the left side. Uh, that those are all double dragon buildings, but it's seven buildings at the corner of EDSA extension. It's around 248,000 square meters and it's valued. Everything is valued at 50.89 billion pesos. I repeat, they're valuing the entire REIT at 50.89 billion and they're just selling 16.97 billion pesos worth what are they gonna do with the money proceeds of the REIT the REIT will be used for 450,000 square meter worth of property so please remember the reason why they are listing a REIT is basically because people will ask they say kung kumikita naman yun, why will they have to sell a REIT when they can just have all of the money imagine this when they get 16.97 billion pesos worth of money, they can use that money to further build. The money is in the property development, not in the rental. So when they sell the REIT, they get to use the money to develop, they get to use the money to further make more money as well. So they're not essentially giving you money, but they're essentially taking your money so they can use it in other things. Next, dates you need to remember. They will apply for the REIT this August and the target plan for the listing is October 2020. So there's a lot of exciting things happening this October. October 20 also is the converged ICT IPO. So two listings to watch out for in October. One is a converged IPO, then next is this. Next, name of the REIT. Since it's Double Dragon Meridian Park, the name of the REIT, and it will be also part of its sticker, is DDMPS. What I've mentioned, when you buy a REIT, it's just like a stock. Since you're buying a REIT and it's just like a stock, you just have to enter that stock code, and then you can easily buy it, you can easily sell it. Next, other REITs is the A REIT of Ayala. It will be around 15.1 billion pesos. Lastly, REIT listing rule. So, not everyone can list anytime they would like there has to be rules also so that at least it's fair for us as investors please remember the main goal of this is investors must be protected also over the long term that uh, what they're selling is not something that lugar. it's not something that's attractive there won't be any appreciation the rent won't also be there but above and beyond that now you have to make your due diligence because you have to study if that area is really good because if the area is not good then you might not really earn as much also. So the same amount of analysis that you put when you are studying and buying a normal stock should be the same amount of analysis also that you are putting in here. Now, one of the things that you can look for also is, number one is the asset basket is in a prime location. As you all know, Mohua, the entire Moa area, that entire strip, the entire, entire Bay area has a very, very expensive uh, price per square meter. Uh, at some point, no, it was even higher, especially when the when Pogos were at its height. Uh, it was higher than BGC and Makati. 
Number two, the dividend yield that they will give you or that you will get is reasonably higher than what you can get in bonds. And what I've seen in Singapore, especially uh, when I was investing or I'm currently investing, but when I was buying, um, the yields were attractive to me. So since this has also market swings, since this has also buying and selling, there will be points in time where the stock will go down. When the stock goes down, the yields will go up. So you can look at it that way, that if you get a very, very reasonable yield for it, then the read is worth buying. Number three, good tenant mix. Like for uh, DD, it's basically they have commercial, then they also have offices. So there's a lot of offices in that DD uh, Meridian Park. And there's also, also nandun din yung Mary Mart. Mary Mart is there. And there's a lot also of Jollibee, Chow King, etc. There's a lot of uh, commercial spaces also in that area. Then capable property management. Basically, it's in Job C. I think this is in Job C as year, no? Uh, one thing that I'd like to note though is he's following the template of a lot of good taipans are doing in times of uncertainty in times when people a lot of people are scared uh, that's a time where he's doubled down please remember mary mart uh mary mart ipo this year they want to expand 1200 stores in 10 years then he's doing the eight he's doing the dd read also this year number five good pipeline of assets for future infusion uh, i think they're gonna infuse three more buildings in this so there did you guys learn a lot from this if you want me to talk about more comment it below i want more of dd and then we're gonna make this a series similar to what i've done into the similar listings we're gonna talk more about it then second uh if you want to know more about reads that's not in the first video that i made before and does not also get factored in here uh comment below and put in your questions and then i'm gonna make another video also talking about reads and i know for a lot of people this is something that's a bit new this is something that you guys don't know yet so if you guys want to know more about that, that's the video that I will also make. If you guys are learning, comment below. I'm learning, comment that I want more of this. And by the way, all of my books are now complete again. You can grab them via Shopee. The link is in the description below. Uh, you can order them and it will be delivered to wherever you are as long as Shopee has coverage. Then two online courses, link is down below with Sean C and Chinkitan. And everything that you need to know also how to invest in US markets, how to invest in Philippine markets, all of the links that are pertinent to our discussions here will be in the description below as well. If there's one thing I do know no, in, in investing, if there's something that's new, I always want to try it because as you start to try it, you will figure out if it's something that's for you, if it's not for you, because if it's for you and then you invested it, then you make money and because you you build the skill you built the skill off of it and then you know it's making money for you the next time you have more you can put in more but if it doesn't work for you at least as early as now also you will figure out that hindi yata para sa akin yung read this. so never be scared of trying never be scared of trying to do things never be scared of trying to experiment and learn new things because at the end of the day when you get older you will regret the things that you did not do you will not regret the failures that you had you will regret more that Sana pala ginawa ko to. And I'm saying this 2020, there's a lot of fear, there's a lot of uncertainty. This is one of the best times also for you not just to invest but to build on that skill and to build on that knowledge. And if you have extra money, why not try it? I'm not saying you buy a uh, Double Driver Meridian Park Reed, but I'm saying that you study if it's something that fits you or not. Because at the end of the day, it's still better that you buy an asset that you sp than you spending it on items that you don't need. Because the items that you don't need, later on baka wala na rin siyang value but the one that uh, you bought that's making money for you there's a chance of volatility there's a chance that it will go down there's risk attached to it but what's nice about it is it gives you the potential to make money and that's what I think people need right now people need to find out that investing works that investing is something that's good that investing will help you grow your money over the long term so what are you waiting for and I'm saying this because uh, it worked for me but it doesn't mean what works for me will also work for you. You have to make sure that it matches all of your risk tolerance. You have to make sure that it matches everything, the timeline, your money, your analysis, that you know also bits and pieces of the company, you know bits and pieces of that area because kung makikiuso lang kayo, sayang. And please, never buy it just because I say it. Never buy it because someone you see in the internet also says it. It has to be something that you know. It has to be something that that you understand because at the end of the day, it's your money, it's your responsibility. No one will take care of your money more than you. And I hope you guys got a lot from this. I hope this is something that's helping you. Marvin Germo, I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon, guys, and God bless you all.